Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Zira Nasirah Panah. I am from MTSN Tuban. Today, I'd like to tell you a story about Dr. Kasar. It is a story from West Java. Do you know Dr. Kasar? If you don't already know, I'll give it for you. Let's get the story. Lutu Kasaru. Long time ago, there was a king named Prabhu Tapahu. Prabhu Tapahu was an old king. He had two daughters, Purbarara and Purbasari. Prabhu Tapahu planned to retire as a king. He wanted Purbasari to replace him as the leader of the kingdom. Hearing this, Purbarara was angry. You can't ask her to be the queen, father. I'm all the that she is. It's supposed to be me, not her. It's impossible, father, said Purbara. No, Purbara, no. It's because I love you and I choose Purbara to be a queen. Because it's only one who deserves to be a queen. After all, she is your little sister. I'm not the king. No, father, no. It's hard for me. Purbara then set a bad plan with her fiancé, Indra Chandra. They went to a witch together and asked her to put spell on Purbasari. Then they gave her a bottle of drink and asked Purbasari to drink it. Later, Purbasari had a bad skin. There were black dots all over her body. Oh my god, what happened with my skin, my body, my face, and my breath? said Purbasari. Ha <laughs> ha you look as beautiful as I am. You can't be the queen. Instead, you live to experience a state in Zander. Say, Purbasari. Purbasari was sad. She knew. She had to stay in the Zander. Every day, she spent her time playing with some animals there. There was one monkey that always tired to turn her up. It is not just an ordinary monkey. He had magical power. And he also contacted with humans. The monkey's name was Yutong Kasaru. He actually a cow. His name was Sampyang Purunya. Yutong Kasaru planned to help Purbasari. He met a small leg and asked her to take a there. My princess, I help you to get back to the palace, said Yutong Kasaru. Thank you, Yutong. You are very good. But how can I go back to the palace? Well, my body is disgusting and smile. Say, Purbasari. Never say never, princess. You only need to bet in the small leg which I have met. Amazingly, her pet skin was cured. Now, she got her beautiful skin back. After that, she asked Putu Kasaru to accompany her to go back to the village. Purbasari was very shocked. She knew she had to come up with another bad idea. She didn't see. This will help down her hair. Be the queen. Then King measured his duster hair. Purbasari had a longer hair than Purbarana, but Purbarana didn't give up. A queen must have a handsome husband. If my fiancé in Dajana is handsome than yours, then I will be queen, said Purbarana. Purbasari was sad. She knew Purbarana's fiancé in Dajana was handsome, and she didn't have fiancé yet. There is my fiancé, Indra Jaya. Where is yours? Asked Purba Rana. Lutung Kasaru came from by. Purba Rana loved him very much. He was fiancé, he's a monkey. <laughs> Lutung, what should I do? Don't worry, my princess. I have a good idea. Suddenly, Lutung Kasaru changed into a very handsome man. He was even more handsome, Indra Jaya. Indra Jaya and Purbarana was very surprised. Purbasari then became the queen. She forgave Purbarana and her fiancé the led them in the palace. The end. That story about Tutu Kasaru. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.